Let's enter the scene today, however, of Susan Lucas, but you might know her as So Catwoman. Um, no, not the one from the DC universe. She's the OG, the queen of punk. And in um, the mid 1970s London, think uh, the filth and fury. You know, if you haven't seen that, do check it out. And you've, you might have heard of it. If you didn't, Johnny Rotten gave her quite the shout out. He called her out for her skill, style, and bravery. Now, that's that's the kind of thing that I like. I myself rock the uh, Glenn Danzig Devil's Lock as well as the eyeliner and everything. I wanted to be like Glenn Danzig, but I ended up looking like Doyle. But as far as Johnny Rotten giving her that type of compliment, that is the Yelp review that anyone would kill for. Speaking of killer looks, so Catwoman's iconic Catwoman haircut wasn't born in some fancy salon. Nope. She just waltzed into a barber shop in 1976, asked for the Confuse My Fucking Enemies special, and voila! <laughs> Sides shaven, top bits flaring out like cat ears, and <clears throat> her ears were as black as your ex's heart, and she, the bleach were like, just like your mistakes from the 90s. Now, our girl was snapped by Ray Stevenson hobnobbing with the likes of Susie Sue, Stephen Severing, and good old Billy Idol. Her face is like everywhere in the punk scene, gracing concert films and ducks, but she turned down a spot in Julian Temple's The Great Rock and Roll Swindle. The audacity. Instead, some Judy Kroll got to play dress up as her. So Catwoman is out there, of course, living her best life in London with her kiddos and probably sipping tea and maybe, just maybe, throwing it back to her punk rock days once in a while. Oh, and here's a little tidbit directly from So Catwoman's mouth. I never was a member of the so-called Bromley contingent. I just knew them and that was something she had announced way back when in MySpace. Now from what I understand as far as her career path she wasn't really one to strum a guitar but darling she strummed heartstrings with her image. She became the poster child for the punk rock movement rubbing shoulders, or should I say flicking tails, with the likes of the Sex Pistols. After the punk party died down, so Catwoman took the cat out of the spotlight and really went undercover. But remember, while she might have been turned into a Cheshire cat, vanishing from the public eye, her legacy, remains very much visible. Now she was seen virtually everywhere in pictures of the punk rock scene um, and she was always making a statement with every step. She wasn't just challenging the status quo, she was flipping the bird at status quo. And you know, the raw energy of punk rock really lit a fire in many ways. But with her, it was like someone threw glitter on fire. Absolutely dazzling. So Catwoman was born in 1954, making her the sultry age of 22 when she unleashed her punk rock goddess vibes in 1976. Now this would make her the Chinese zodiac, the horse. And the horse is very much like a cat on catnip. Horses are buzzing with energy, always up for anything really. Um, as far as her being the sign of the horse, I believe it's a wooden horse, a wood horse. Um, she was sharp as a cat's claw. I mean, she could grasp things. She can grasp things faster than a feline chasing a laser dot. Um, she's the type of individual who 
um, will share her last can of tuna. True friend, indeed. <laughs> uh, she's very much a free spirit. In fact, she wrote the book on it, being a free spirit. Um, as far as her, is she impatient? Is she as hot tempered as you would think she might be? Ever tried holding a cat in a bath? She's that. Is she adaptable? Oh yeah, yeah. She'll she'll definitely go with the flow, even if it's against the grain. Just that's truly who she is. She's a very cooperative, generous person. I mean, a wood horse is a person who will share their hair gel with you, no questions asked. And obviously, she was very quick to decide if it's a mohawk or cat ears kind of day. But she is the optimistic one, always looking at the glass half full, always thinking of the next big thing, like in her punk rock days, like combining fishnets with leather and just ripping the fishnets right here and there. And maybe they just ripped themselves and that was okay. Nothing to get all hung up about. <laughs> so there you have it um, from punk rock queen to the cat's meow. So Catwoman, she is truly one for the books and she should be in the punk rock hall of fame. And if she was in the punk rock hall of fame, she would be a lioness. And remember that every time you tease your hair somewhere out there, so Catwoman is giving you a nod of approval.